I recently saw Michael Moore's new film, Sicko. Using interviews with actual victims of the U.S. healthcare industry, it shows how people have suffered because they live in the only industrialized country in the world that does not make sure people can get help when they need it. One man in the film lost a finger when doctors refused to sew it back on because he couldn't afford to pay them as much money as they were demanding. They threw his finger away. A woman whose doctor told her she had cancer was told by her insurance company that the doctor must be wrong because she was too young to have cancer. A man died because his insurance company wouldn't pay for the treatment he needed. And my favorite, because the same exact thing happened to me, was the woman who was in an accident and later was told that her insurance company wouldn't pay for her ambulance ride to the emergency room because she hadn't had it pre-approved. Anyone who has ever dealt with a health insurance company will understand what this movie is saying and will agree with it. Republican, Democrat, Independent, Green, it doesn't matter. Everyone in America knows firsthand why we should have national health care. Everyone except the people who can make it happen, our congressmen and our senators. They are the only ones who think we shouldn't have what the people in England and France and Canada and even Cuba have. Fortunately, this movie, coming as it does on the eve of the presidential and congressional primaries, brings to the forefront the most urgent domestic issue facing our country. So as the candidates for Congress in your area ask for your vote, ask them whether they support national health care. And if all they have to offer is an increase in coverage for uninsured children, tell them that's not enough. Because it isn't only children who need health care, and even insured people aren't getting the care they need. If they try to duck the question by mouthing platitudes like, it's time we did something about health care, ask them what exactly they plan to do. If they tell you we can fix the problem with health savings accounts or tax incentives for employers, demand that they explain how that will make enough of a difference, because the fact is, it won't. The two big issues in the upcoming elections will be the Iraq War and health care. A lot of Americans are disappointed that the democratically controlled Congress isn't acting fast enough to end the war. If Democratic candidates don't show genuine understanding of the health care mess and don't make fixing it their top priority, the Democratic Party will quickly become irrelevant to most Americans.